This video is kind of like part two for the orbital filling diagram video that I did earlier. And you will see that on youtube.com slash owigger. You can go to my channel there on YouTube. Here on YouTube actually is where you're seeing it from. But you'll go to that uh, channel and you can do a search for orbital filling diagram. And you'll see my first video as well as this one. So this orbital diagram works very nicely and there are certain rules that have to be followed when you're using it. And those rules I talked about in the other one but I never gave them a name. So now we're going to give them names and you're going to see how they will apply to your orbital filling diagram which is what you use uh, just kind of as a review here what you're going to use to make your your um, your electron configurations. So let's go ahead and look at those rules on another slide here and you will see this little box here is applying to this particular rule. I'll actually sing the rule for you and we'll have a little fun with it and then we'll move on to the second rule. But off bow, off bow says each electron goes to the lowest sublevels. And that's how you might be able to remember the off bow principle, saying that the 1s must be filled before the 2s, which must be filled before the 2p gets any electrons. And then if you take this chart and follow it across, you'll see that the 1s gets filled before the 2s, before the 2p, before the 3s, before the 3p, before the 4s. They have to follow in this order. This is what Offbow is talking about in this particular rule. Now let's go down and see what Polly has to say. And I'm going to give you a little demonstration of how this works. You're going to see two electrons duke it out. And that's kind of fun. So, Polly. Polly says, exclude, exclude, two electrons max per dude. First spin left, and then spin right. Opposite spins will prevent a fight. And when we say opposite spins, we got opposite spins in the same orbital, as it says in this box over here. So, we're going to see a dramatic demonstration, I think, of two magnets that will serve to show you what the electrons do when the spins do not match. So we'll just uh, go on over there and look at that now. What you're seeing is two magnets, and they are aligned in the way that you are, the way that I've actually labeled them. This side is north, south. And this side is also north-south. So Pauli exclusion principle says we have to have opposite spins. And opposite spins create little magnets, which is why I'm using magnets for this demonstration. So we get our first magnet in there. And he will not accept another electron in his orbital, which is represented by this circle, unless the spin is opposite. What does that mean? Well, when electrons spin, they create a magnetic field that mimics a magnet. Only we're down in the nano size here, super nano size. And it, when we're talking about electric fields, these guys are really, really small. But they nevertheless create an electric field. So if one is spinning to the left and the other is spinning to the right, that means it will create a situation like you see down here at the bottom where we'll have north, I'm sorry, north to south on the left and south to north on the right. But first of all, let's see why it doesn't work when they have the same spin. Same spin, north will be in the same place. When the second electron comes in, he comes in like this, trying to get him to come in parallel there. And out you go, you see? So two electrons cannot have the same spin and be in the same orbital. Now let's see what happens when we put them in opposite spins. And we'll take this magnet down here and leave it in the same orientation. But before we move this magnet, I'm going to turn it around 
So what was south is now north, and that way he's aligned the way that I have actually labeled this little diagram. And this again is the orbital. We'll put in our first magnet like we did last time, but this time I have north to south, and south is at the top of the other one, and north on the bottom, which means they will attract each other and be able to be in the same orbital. And they will not push each other apart. And this is what the Pauli exclusion principle is all about. So for a quick review, opposite spins in the same orbital are required. And that's what Pauli is all about. Pauli says exclude, exclude. Two electrons max per dude. First spin left and then spin right. Opposite spins will prevent a fight. And now when we say max per dude up here, the dude means orbital. All right? So let's go down to our last one. We'll have a little fun here with Hun and his fairness doctrine. Hun says it's just like when you get your presents at Christmas time. If you have five brothers and sisters, or better yet, make it ten brothers and sisters in a family, and they range in ages from two up to twenty, because they were spread out at two-year intervals, let's imagine that we give the baby ten or twenty presents while everybody else sits and watches. And then number two in line is going to get 19 presents, and number three will get fewer, and we'll get all the way up to number 10 in line, and this poor 10th child, who's the oldest, is only going to get one present, and he is furious by the time that all these other brothers and sisters have gotten tons of presents, and he's had to sit and watch the whole thing. So, what Hun says is, it's kind of like that with the electron. Hun just wants to be fair. All get one before any get two. And that's the way we have happy electrons in our sublevels. So, the first the first orbital gets one, the second orbital gets one, the third orbital gets one. If there's three in an orbital, like you see in the P's, see the 2P has three orbitals. Each of these little lines represents an orbital. The 3P has three orbitals and three lines, each representing an orbital. Oh, look at that 3D. One, two, three, four, five. Five lines, meaning five orbitals. So, each of these will get one, and that will be the up arrows. And we'll, I'm just going to fill this in for fun right now. See, one, two, three, four, five. This is what Hun's talking about. Nobody's going to get two until everybody gets one. And down we go, and down and down and down. And that's the way we represent the electrons coming into the atom or being placed in the atom so that the placement will work and everything will be correct within the atom for it to be able to function and be what it is. So, let's look at this and come on down. And, and now you know not to be crude. Always be a fair and happy dude. Now you know all the orbital filling rules and my crazy little song to go along with it. I hope this helps.